Good evening, soccer fans. Welcome to the match between Team Quebec versus Team Alberta. As the teams walk onto the field. This is all part of the Sport Check Under 16 National Club Championships. Quebec is being represented by Lakeshore Soccer Club. They're wearing white shirts, white shorts, and white socks. And Alberta is being represented by Calgary Southwest United Premiers 98. And they're wearing black shirts, black shorts, black socks. My name is Ian Chater. I'll be calling the game this evening. The camera's being operated by Daryl Redman. This is our third game for this afternoon and this evening. So we're looking forward to this. Uh, looking forward to this match. The last two were, were well played. I must say, very impressive soccer for a group of 15 and 16 year olds. So as we do the, the coin toss here. So it looks like Calgary is going to defend the left hand side of your screen. Starting in the first half. And Quebec is going to defend the right hand side for the first half. Just about to get underway here. We play two 40 minute halves and under 16 with a 10 minute intermission. So bear with me this evening as I uh, as I call the game and I try to get I pronounce some of the names correctly or all the names I should say. So if I do anything wrong, I apologize before I even start. We're just about to get on the way here now. Here's Quebec with possession of the ball. Still in, still in play. It's going to be a great evening. I think the fans are well into it already. For both sides. Alberta with the first shot on net. That was taken in by number one Kearson. Here's Alberta with possession. Too far for her teammate to pick up. That being number six, short. Here's Alberta coming on the attack again. Back up possession of the ball, put it in the middle of the field, and out of bounds. Out of bounds by number seven. Here's 12, Nielsen with the ball. Goaltender now for Quebec, comes out to pick up the ball, plays it with her foot anyway. Here's Quebec, outside the number two, St. Jean. Alberta with the ball, trying to put it right back into the corner. Here's number six making a run for it. 
Short again, tries to put it across. Cleared away by Quebec. Here's Alberta, putting it right back in again. And Kearson, no trouble with that. She's gonna again play it from the back. Here's Nelson. Foul on the play. Number 18, Tobin, all the way outside to our number three, Lesperance. Here's Nelson in the midfield to the back. Marquis with the ball. Here's number five. Here's a break here now for Team Alberta. She tried. There's a shot on net. Nice, very nice scoring opportunity there for Team Alberta. That shot there by number 20 Shimka. Just wide of the, just wide of the net. The girls uh, division are into the crossovers now and they're part of the tournament. So uh, here's Alberta again on the attack. Alberta had the bulk of the play already. Here's Short. There's a ball well over the net. As I was saying, uh, they're into the into the crossovers. This right now, this evening, is a is Quebec versus Alberta. As I said, Quebec was first in their Group C division, while Alberta was second in their B division. So, uh, so we have a, a, a first versus second situation here, and I'll let you know how they they made it here in those a little later. How their results were. Here's Quebec. With the opportunity there, that was 15. Marquis putting it right across the front of the net, but no one could put their foot on it to put it in the net. Here's Marquis again. Still with the ball. Working hard. Cleared out of harm's way there by Alberta. And out of bounds. Number two, St. Jean throws it in. Back to Tobin. Tiberio, Tiberio. Here's Alberta again with the possession. Trying to put the ball through. Tiberio puts it to the outside. Here's Tiberio again. Nielsen. L'Esperance to the outside. Number 10 challenging for the ball, Spano. Out of bounds there now for a throw in for Team Quebec. Labelle will throw it in. Free kick here now for Alberta. Number five, a Little, will take the free kick. They line up across the 18. That was gathered in by Kirsten.
Foul on the play there. Just get back with the ball, put it right into the box. Marquis challenge for the ball, but on the balance for a free kick. I'm oh, sorry, for a goal kick. The goalie now for for Alberta. Brown, dressed in all blue. Here's Alberta, down the, far, down the wing, giving away back. Here's Marquis, running after the ball. Marquis, foul there by Haim. Saint Jean will take. No, she's not taking the free kick. It's going to be number 10, Spano, taking the free kick here for Team Quebec. The referee marks off the 10 yards. Here's the ball into the box. Nice save there by... Nice save there by... The goaltender for Alberta, but she did give up a corner a corner kick. Ball's back in the box. Ball's bouncing around to there. Cleared out of harm's way there by number 20. Shimka. A foul on the play there. Here's Alberta now. Prince McPherson. Here's Prince McPherson. No, it's not. That's Shimka. Sorry. There's Prince McPherson. There's a through ball there now for Quebec. Lots of time there for number 17, Haim. No, 17, yeah, that's Haim. Shore puts it back in. Here's number three, L'Esperance. Challenge there. Quebec with possession. Virio and the Marquis. Here's Nelson. Back to Nerio Fakez. Back to Nerio Vasquez. Well done there by number six, short. Still with possession though. Nelson. Here's Marquis. Running for the ball. Nice move there by Marquis. Not in the box yet, though. Clear it out. Here's number five, Belbecki. Gone wide. It looks like it was a deflection. It was a corner kick here now for Team Quebec. Here's the cross. It's up. And cleared out. Not out very far yet, though. 
And a put right back in again, but well over the top of the net. Brown will take a, will take the goal kick for Team Alberta. The fans for the Alberta team are very loud and vocal. Good to see. And here. I should say here. See and here, I suppose. There's, there's Quebec with the ball put in the, into the box, but no harm done there. Prince McPherson. Here's Nelson. There's a ball into the corner, but way too far for her teammate to run onto. I believe that's Spano in the far wing. For everyone in Quebec, if you are watching the game, I, I don't know a lot of French, so I apologize. <laughs> Here's Martin. Martin with the ball. Outside the high end. Put out of bounds by Marquis. Marquis challenged for the ball. Along with Nerio Vasquez. Little, little uh, foul Vasquez there. No, uh, sorry. Nerio Vesquez. Spano will take the, uh, the free kick. The referee is going to mark off the 10 yards. Lots of action going on in the box. Lots of to and fro and pushing and shoving. Here's a shot, far, far post, right through the fingers of Brown. And that's another corner there now for Team Quebec. Spano will take that one as well. I think we're having a little uh, duel of uh, being vocal for both, both teams' fans. Balls in the box. Here's Spano with a low drive. Water the net. Goal kick. Alberta. As I said, this is a uh, crossover game now between the first in C versus the second in B. Quebec was first in the sea, and they got here with a 6-0 victory over New Brunswick and a 5-0 victory over Saskatchewan, while Alberta won 10-0 over the Yukon, but they lost 2-1 to Manitoba to come second in Group B. So that's the result so far. Lesperance put it on the outside, put it right back in the middle. And there's a foul on the play. Back free kick. Tiberio looks like she's going to take it. Everyone lines up across the 18. What a penalty area, whichever you prefer. A little low drive in. Flick off at the head of Alberta player. Here's Haim trying to catch it before it goes out for a corner kick. Well done there. Throw in for Alberta. Intercepted there by Alberta. Pushed the ball through. Shimka. With a shot from well out. Searson. Here 
Here's Shimka again. Battling for it over there against two Quebec players. Cleared out by Quebec. Nerea Vasquez trying to get it. Out of touch for her. In C over there for Alberta. I believe she's number. I think I believe that's number two. It's on the far, far side of the field for of my vantage point. Here's Heim. Still with the ball. And she got a throw in out of it. Well done there by Nerio Vasquez to keep control of it, but she did lose it eventually. Here's Nelson, number 12. Nelson, back to Nelson. Lasperance. Switch. Outside here to St. Jean. Nice give and go here for St. Jean. Give it right back, though, to Alberta. And Alberta, Alberta gave it right back again by... Given a given throw in. Here's a Mar no, Marquis is not going to throw it. Saint Jean will throw in for Quebec. The Lakeshore Soccer SC or Soccer Club is representing Quebec. The Calgary Southwest United Premier 98s are the Alberta representative. Tiberio will take the free kick for uh, for Quebec. Lots of moving around in there. The ball is in the box. It's up. And Brown gathers that in. She is going to kick it out. Out the center. Here's Shimka. Shimka pushes it in with her head. Free kick there for Quebec. Tiberio out wide and out of play. Throw in there for Alberta. Incy throws it in. Shimka putting pressure on the back line. Berrio puts that right back out. Nerio Vasquez trying to get the ball under control. There goes Spano. The ball is out of play and out of the park. And the fans are cheering on their teams. It's awesome here this evening at Topsail Soccer Complex. Great atmosphere here. Two, in my opinion, two so far, what I've seen so far, two evenly skilled teams, well coached. Both are having their opportunities. And the fans are trying to outduel themselves as well. Here's the ball. Midfield. Here's Alberta with the ball. Here's Heim. Here's Marquis. Takes it back, takes it from her. Number 16 running after her from that's Panaccioni. Here's L'Esperance, puts the ball in the box. 
cleared out, cleared away by the defenders on Alberta. Here's St. Jean with the throw in. Prince McPherson there, challenger for the ball, put it out. It's out of play. Throw in. I'm going to take it there for Alberta. Another throw in for Alberta. 23 minutes gone in the first half. And I'm not going to be sick of saying it. Time flies when you're having fun. I've said it in every game. I've said it several times every game. It's a great match. I say it's a entertaining game of soccer here tonight. Tobin will take it now for Team Quebec. Back to Tobin. St. Jean. Well challenged there by number six short. Here's Shimka. Shimka with the ball. Being challenged. Short. Back to Heim. And there's a foul on the play, so she'll be a free kick there. Panachoni. We got some young fans in front of us here. I'm sure we'll get them on camera. They got their Quebec flag. There's the cross into the box. Ooh! What a nice opportunity there. A nice cross there from Short. And Shimpka got their head on it off the outside of the post. Sirsant now with the ball. Back to Sirsant. There's Tobin. St. Jean. Here Vasquez looking for it. St. Jean with the throw in for Quebec. First and outside to Incy. Incy tried to get the ball back. Nice ball into the corner for Spano. Spano's running onto it, trying to catch up before it goes out, and she does. And it's a throw in for Quebec. It's either a foul on the play or offsides. One or the other is a free kick for Alberta. Cleared up the wing. Prince McPherson passed it through. Here's Shimka. She almost got Alberta's first marker. We have a substitution here now for Team Alberta, number 17, Heim is going out. 17 is out, and number 7 is coming in, which is Ulf. Ulf is in now, and the wing back position here, the right wing back. Ball 
Ball's in the, in the box. Cleared out by Quebec. Well challenged there. Throw in there now by Quebec. Number two, St. Jean will take it. McPherson trying to do something with it. Still with possession though is Alberta. Nice job nice job there by Prince McPherson to keep control of it. But eventually lost it. The fans thought there was a foul, but the referee didn't agree with them. Wolf puts pressure on the ball, but gone by her. There's number eight. Well defended there by number eight Martin. Give her a chance for her teammates to get back in position. Here's Short. St. Jean stops her. Here's Nelson. Nelson with the ball. There's Ulf. Again. Everyone's looking for a foul, but there's not one being called. Here's Shimka. She's disappointed with that. First touch. Here's Nelson. Outside of LaBelle. LaBelle tries to put it into the box. It goes all the way through and into the hands of the goalkeeper. Here's Ulf for Alberta. Here's number 16. Panaccioni for Alberta, but the save back into the Quebec possession. Lesperance still with the ball, puts it over, but uh, nobody there. And it rolls off for a throw in for Alberta. 30 minutes gone now in the first half. Can't believe it's that much gone that fast. Back and forth affair going on. We're having a substitution here now for Team Quebec. Nerio Vasquez, number seven, is out. Taking her place is, I didn't see this, the cards, is number 14, Fiola. So Fiola's in, Neria Vasquez is out. There's Fiola, Fiola, Nelson, into the middle of the field, still possession in Quebec, loses it. Here's number 12, it's working hard for Alberta. No foul on the play there. Here's Shimka, gonna put pressure. No, she's not, she's gonna let the goalkeeper have the time to do what she wishes to do. Fiola, being pressured. Shimka comes up with the ball. Number five, Little was, well, Alberta still has the ball. Outside here to Ulf. Prince McPherson. Prince McPherson with the ball. In the Shimka. In the Shimka. She's going to take. Nelson with the ball. Number three, L'Esperance with the ball. She's going to put it down in the corner for Spano. That was a nice ball. But too far into the uh, into the goal area. Easily handled by Brown. Here's Short. 
Olaf. Prince McPherson. Prince McPherson trying to spring Shimka, but no luck. Marquis. Back to Nelson. Fiola. Back to Tiberio. Here's Tiberio trying to push through. No look, no luck. Put right back in again by Tobin. There's a push on the play. Crowd did not like that call. Put into the box, but again, easily handled by the goalie Brown. Here's outside the Ulf. Back to Martin. Back to goalie. Back to Martin. Prince McPherson. Bumped off the ball. Saint Jean of the Marquis. Nice strong play there by Tobin. Labelle out, Labelle out to Spano. Can she catch up to it before it goes off? No. Still scoreless here in the first half of this match between Alberta and Quebec in a crossover match. Hope you're enjoying it. Being brought to you, being streamed live by Bella Long Community One. You're watching live action of the Sport Check Under 16 Canadian Club Championships. Games being played in Topsail at the Topsail Soccer Complex in Conception Bay South, Newfoundland, Labrador, where one of the uh, fields being used for the for the tournament. The host association, Mount Pearl, is around 10 minutes away from here. They're hosting the Paula Games as well, and then our capital city, St. John's, which is probably 15 minute drive from here, is also hosting a pile of games. We'll run right on into Monday. Three more games here tomorrow that we're doing here in Topsail, and then another two on on uh, on Monday, the placing games. So lots of soccer still to come. A lot of soccer this evening in this match yet. So it looks like uh, we have an injured player down being attended to. I think it's LaBelle, or here is in the way. Uh, it's either Belbecki or LaBelle. Let me see. you're enjoying like I said enjoying the, the live streaming here I know not everyone can come out and travel with the with their teams that they support but a great job here by Bell Alliance to bring this bring these games into your bit into your living rooms on your computers wherever you may be on your mobile devices
like to apologize now. I think I've been calling uh, one of the players on Team Alberta, Ulf, and I did go over and ask the coaches their, the pronunciation of their names, but it is Wolf. But maybe his accent I couldn't understand as well. So that's all good. So going forward, I apologize. Number seven on Alberta is Wolf. Great to see you're watching the game. Hope you're enjoying it. Back in action here now. Here's Nelson. Here's Sapano or Spano trying to get the ball back. Referee gone over to the Alberta bench. Here's the ball. Cleared a little bit by T Team Quebec. Here's Wolf. That rolls out for a, a throw in. Here's Nelson. Here's Spano. Right back in. Tiberio. Puts it long for her teammates. See if she can run onto it. Wolf clears it. Here's Nelson, being challenged here by Shimka. Here's Prince McPherson. Back to Wolf. Into the box, but Easily handled there by the goalkeeper for Quebec. Sirson. Far, far corner. Throw in there for Quebec. Forty minutes is up now here at in the first half. Playing at extra time. <coughs> You're short, challenging for the ball. I think she got called, Short got called on that because she came in with her, her cleats high. Tiberio is going to try, he's going to take this. Everyone's lined up across the, the penalty box, penalty area. Spano. It's going to take a shot over the top of the net. Brown now will take the goal kick. She goes cross field.
Little got, little got put to the turf. Free kick here now for Alberta. Not much time left now in this uh, first half. Still no score. As we should point out, uh, where this is a crossover game, we do need to have a winner, so... Oh! What an opportunity there for Team Alberta, just over the top of the net. But where it is a crossover game, as I'll continue, um, there has to be a, a winner, so... Only, but it'll go right to penalty shots. Only in uh, medal games do you go into extra time. So anyway, that's, that's the whistle there to end the first half. And uh, we have a 0-0 tie between Team Alberta and Team Quebec. You're watching live streaming brought to you by Battle Line Community One as part of the Sport Check Under 16 National Club Championships. Other sponsors include Amway. IBM, or sorry, BMO, Chevrolet, Umbrell, Powerade, and the Federal Government of Canada. We'll take our 10-minute break here now. We'll be back for the second half of this match between Team Alberta and Team Quebec. Hope you're enjoying it so far. We'll be back shortly. Talk to you soon.
All right, welcome back to the second half of this match between Team Alberta versus Team Quebec. 0-0 uh, zero, zero here right now. You're watching this game via live streaming by Bella Lion Community 1. It's all part of the, under, the Sport Check Under-16 National Club Championships. My name is Ian Chater. I'll continue to give you the play-by-play -play of this game as best I can and not shag up any more names <laughs> so um, I'd like to thank Daryl here on the camera and checking the computer too see what's to keep me in line so uh, here we go for the second half 0-0 zero, zero. well played match in the first half no doubt back and forth both teams had opportunities here it is Alberta with the first ball to the backfield there now. Get back with the ball. Outside here into the pen. Spano. Here's Spano with the ball again. Here's Incy, number two for Alberta. Into Prince McPherson. Well challenged there by number six short. But they did get a throw one out of it. Number 16 there on Alberta going to take the throw in now. Panaccioni. And is out there now for a corner. Corner kick there now for Alberta. is going to take this. Here's the cross. And it's gone behind the net. Here's the goal kick there now for... Now here's Quebec on the attack. Here it is, wide open net. What a beautiful save there by, by Brown on Alberta. Beautiful save. And it's over the net. We had that opportunity there, but stopped point blank by Brown. Here's Shimka chasing after the ball into the corner for Alberta against Tiberio. Tiberio. Free kick. Here's Shimka. That's a corner there now for Alberta. Short's going to take it, I believe. No, she's not. Panachon is.
cleared there by Alberta. Or sorry, Quebec. Here's Wolf. Looks like Wolf is now in playing in the middle, in the center. No, she's not. She's going out to her outside wing back position. Here's Martin. Here's Prince McPherson. Short. Throw in here now for Alberta. Prince McPherson. Too far there for Shimka. Throw in for Team Quebec. Tiberio tried to clear it. Throw in for Alberta. Big throw in into the box. Here's Quebec breaking out on the attack. Balls put through. Here's Shimka. She's taken down hard by by number eight. On Quebec Martin. Here's Incy now going to take it. Nice play there by Alberta. Nelson fighting for the ball. Penichoni fighting for the ball. Here's the goal kick. It's fouled there against Alberta. Free kick here now for Quebec. A couple of uh, times now, uh, the referee has had to go over to the Alberta bench. Here's the ball in. Cleared out by Wolf. Shimka in the middle of the field looking for her teammate never reached it there's Prince McPherson nothing happened there here's Quebec hit the ref free kick here now for Alberta John, and Johnny gonna do it. Gonna take this kick. 
They're going to put three in the wall. Quebec is. Here's a shot on net. And a nice shot it was. Handled though there by Searson. Here's Nelson. Let's go back out of the backfield. Try to put a ball through. And Incy was there to clear it. Shimka came back to keep that from going off. Pettichoni. Here's Short. Short. Viola. Here's here's Back out to the far wing, into the corner. Spano. Cleared out by, by Alberta. Here's Nelson. Nelson against. Shimka. Here's the ball. Here's Incy. Alberta gets a free kick. Already almost 12 minutes gone in the second half. We've got a 0-0 game going here between Team Alberta, being represented by Calgary Southwest United Premier 98, and Quebec, being represented by Lakeshore Soccer Club. Spano running for the ball to keep it in, and, she got, and well done too to keep uh, knock that off of the uh, Alberta Alberta player. with Martin putting it back in for Alberta. LaBelle clearing it there for Quebec. Got the ball outside to Spano. Another opportunity there, but Nothing came of it for Quebec. There's a yellow there for for the Quebec player. Tightly contested match here this evening. Two very skilled teams trying very hard to put the first goal up on the board. Okay, here's Quebec.
Throw in here now for Alberta. There's Wolf. Quebec trying to break out. Wolf again. Martin back to Wolf. Wolf back into. Here's Incy. Well done there. Sheeler trying to pressure the play there. Here's Marta. Martin, I mean. Looks like there's a foul on the play. Quebec, free kick. Here's Alberta. the ball for Marquis. NC fouled McPhee, McKee there. NC gets gets her gets her booking. Spano cleared out by Sheeler. There's Nielsen. There's Incy. Outside to Shimka. Shimka has lots of room there to run. Put the ball in, but intercepted there by Team Quebec. Marquis into the middle of the field. Here's Marquis. Panaccioni puts the ball into the Quebec zone, but right back, Quebec comes. Spano running for the ball. minutes gone in the second half. Here's Marquis. Put back in the middle of the field but intercepted there by Martin. It's Tiberio. Viola. Cleared out there by Alberta. Here's Shimka down the corner for short. Prince McPherson puts the ball in, but too far and out of play for a goal kick. You're watching live streaming of this match brought to you by Bella Line Community One. Hope you're enjoying all of the action of the Under-16 Canadian Club Championships. Brought to you by Sportcheck. Cleared out there by the goaltender for Alberta. Marquis tried to push the ball through, but no luck. Here's Shimka. Trying to make a long cross there. 
Here's Dupuy, or sorry, uh, Spano. Nice ball there by number 14. Here's Spano. Here's Quebec with possession. Well done there by Pharrell Berta to get first to the ball. Number 14. That was out of out of play. Throw in here now for Alberta. And see will take it. Over 20 minutes gone now in the first half. Or sorry, second half and in regulation. So if, if this game does go is tied at the end we will go direct the penalty shots we had one of those earlier today between team ontario and team bc it was zero zero at the end of regulation and uh, team ontario came out on top in the penalty shots for the victory little little bobble there by team quebec in their own zone Here's a quick shot there by Prince McPherson, but that was wide of the net. Prince McPherson there with the ball. Back to her again. Here's Inch making a run on the wing. Ball in the short. Off sides. Looks like Tiberio will take this into the center of the field. Picked up there by Martin. Martin going to push it outside. The no. She turns upfield. Shimka. Shimka took that away from the Quebec player. Still, still onto it. Still onto it. Here's Nelson. Alberta with a, Alberta with a free kick there now. Alberta asked for the ten yards. I think she's gonna. I think I have a funny feeling she's gonna take a shot. Number 20, Shimka. And who knows? It doesn't go in, may get a rebound. Low drive. Here's the ball bouncing around. Just a little bit out of danger way. There it is. Here's Spano running after it against Martin. Spano still with the ball. Coming around the back. Here's Spano. Alberta's intercepted there by Quebec. They're on the attack. Oh, pushed too far ahead there. And Alberta cleared the zone. Here's Short. Got a Chani there. Good effort. Here's, here's penalty shot here now called Anna, Anna Red. Deverio looks like she's given, been given the direct red for taking down the Alberta player in the box.
we're at the come up to the 25 minute mark on in the in the second half big opportunity here now for team Alberta to go up one nothing on a penalty kick and that all, and also their team Quebec is going to be playing with one man short Looks like Shimka is going to be taking the penalty kick for Alberta. See if Searson is up for the challenge. <laughs> off the post. And then the second opportunity went over the net. However, like I said, the Quebec player, DeBerio, was given a, a red card on the play. So Team Quebec is playing with a player down. So it's 11 versus 10. Almost another uh, giveaway there for almost like a carbon copy of the last play that resulted in in the PK there's Marquis stopped there by Shearer Sheeler I should say here's Quebec getting a free kick here Shimka fouled the Quebec player on the play Anyway, we still have a 0-0 game here. The penalty kick went off the post, and uh, so still scoreless. Hands on the back there by Inci on number two, on the marquee. So the Lakeshore soccer team, soccer club team from uh, Quebec has a free kick here. Here's LaBelle with the free kick. Ball's up. She's not very pleased with that effort. Here's Brown. She made a dandy save early in the first second half here. Point blank, almost like a breakaway. On a Quebec player. Here's short for Alberta. Lots of space. Remember now, Alberta is, or if Quebec is down, a, a player. So there's a little extra, little extra uh, space on the field. Here's Spano. That was one there. Well done there by Sheeler. Here's Incy. Substitution here now. Number four for Team Quebec is going out. Dupuis is, is out. Number three is in, Les Bronze. That was close again there. Cleared off. Cleared away there by Wolf. We have another substitution here for Alberta. Panaccioni, number 16, is leaving the game. Oh, 
coming into the game is, or even back in the game, or into the game. Uh, a, bit of, a bit of fancy stuff there. Team Quebec was. Here's Quebec in the... There's a push on the play there. Free kick there at midfield for Quebec. Bell. Nice ball outside here to Spano. Spano's inside the box. Here's a shot on net. Didn't miss by much that far corner. Not at all. Nice play there by Team Quebec. We're into the last 10 minutes. Well, almost now, yeah, I'm in the last nine minutes of this uh, back and forth match between Team Quebec and Team Alberta. Here's the, for, here's the goal kick. Here's Short bringing it down, loses possession of it. LaBelle there. Here's Spano. Puts the ball into the middle of the field. It's cleared out by the, the Alberta team. Here's Little. Push the ball through. Beautiful ball for Short. Here's a shot. Clear it out. Prince McPherson was going to take a shot and then didn't. Okay, cleared out down, back out. Going to go to the touch line for a, for a throw in. Here's Incy for Alberta. Here's another substitution. Number nine for Alberta is going out. Brown has left the game in his number 10, Thompson. I'll have to repeat myself again that at the end of regulation, if the game is still tied, we go direct to penalty kicks. We're into the last seven minutes of regulation. Here's Little, puts the ball into the corner. Martin runs onto it. Challenging for the ball down there. Looks like there is a foul on the play and they gave it they gave the free kick to Alberta. Or sorry to Quebec. Here's Quebec. On the far side. Thompson puts that out for Alberta. Throw in now for Quebec. Throw in here now for Wolf for Alberta. Wolf again. Cleared out by Quebec. Still in play and gone gone out. And a throw in for Team Quebec. Must have deflected off. Well it had to deflect off a Alberta player. Spano challenging for the ball. La Belle. Back and forth now as both teams try to get the attack on the go in order to try to get the, the first marker. Shimka there try to do a little fancy back back foot action. 
Here's Shemke again with the ball. Into the middle of the field. Outside to... Prince McPherson and uh, her left foot effort went well wide of the net. Here's Team, uh, team Quebec. Put, put out of bounds by Wolf. Throw in for Quebec. Wolf for the throw in. Back with the free kick. Less than four minutes to go in regulation. Quebec got the head on the ball, but it's cleared out by Quebec, or sorry, by Alberta. Shimka for Alberta. Tried to split the D, she did. Martin tried to get that, but now it's a uh, Quebec goal kick. Well done there by Wolf. Put right in the middle of the, right into the box, but. See your sound? Came out to get that. Sp Spano lost, lost control of the ball, went out of touch, off the touch line. Prince McPherson. Got fouled. There by Spano. Here's Little, number five for Alberta. Here's the ball, it's in inside the box. Cleared out by Quebec. Here's Wolf, number seven. She tried to get it over, it was blocked. Here's a quick throw in there by Alberta. Here's Short. Here's Sheeler. Out to Incy. Dupuy put the pressure on, or sorry, Spano put the pressure on. Prince McPherson put the ball in. Played out of harm's way there. Nice play there by Shimka, but it's cleared out by Quebec. Here's a long shot. We're inside the last minute of the play here in the second half. Push on the play there from number 10. Thompson. Here's the play. Here's the kick. Here's Spano. Short comes back. Dangerous play there by, by Marquis. Here's 
Sheeler. Regulation time has... I didn't see how much time that the fourth official put up. So again, if we go, if we finish this game as in a tie, we'll go to penalty, penalty kicks. There's the throw in here now for Alberta. Wolf will take it. Here's Alberta going down the far side, trying to get the ball across into the box. Ball's cleared. Here's Incy. Pressure being put on now by Spano. Sheeler. Cincy again. Ball's cleared by Team Quebec, but put right back in again by Alberta. Here's Incy into Prince McPherson. Here's Nelson. Nice control there by Nelson. There's a through ball by Spano to Spano. Spano challenge for the ball with Incy. Throw in here now. Fiola is going to throw it in. Here's Shimka trying to take on two or three the Quebec players. Thompson. Thompson again with the ball. Outside to Martin. Martin out to Wolf. Wolf takes a low. Let's see if, yes, yeah, Short can get to it. Clear it out. And there it is. The end of a well played match. Tie 0-0 zero, zero between Alberta and Quebec. Off we go to penalty kicks again for the second time of the day on this field anyway in the girls in girls action. You're watching live streaming brought to you by Bella Line Community One, all part of the Sport Check Under 16 National Club Championships. Other sponsors include Amway, BMO, Chevrolet. Umbrella, Powerade, and the Federal Government of Canada. So the way this works now is uh, each team will take five penalty kicks. And uh, if there's nothing decided after five, if it's still tied, then they'll go one for one until we decide a winner. As I said, we had a penalty kick game this afternoon between Ontario and British Columbia, in which Ontario was victorious after that round of penalty kicks. So it was an exciting first half anyway, or sorry, ex exciting second half. If you remember now, early in the half, uh, a Quebec player had was in on the six-yard line all by herself, and the goalie came out for a Brown on, on Alberta, made a tremendous save, point blank. And then uh, Alberta had a penalty kick uh, that went off the post and also had to play Quebec had to play the uh, the rest of the game after that with a one less one less player as there was a red card issued on the play so no uh, no short 
shortness of uh, of good action here in the second half, the full game, as a matter of fact. So we'll get get at this now. They'll they'll toss for which net they want to they want to use and who will shoot first. So uh, everyone thinks it's a real nerve wracking time for the goalies. They can only do their best and, and hopefully guess which way the the player is going to shoot. And sometimes you get lucky too. So, or a lot of times you get lucky. But, but the day we had a couple of player, a couple of shots. One went over the net, and one went to the side of the net in the earlier penalty kick game between Ontario and BC. Anyway, um, well played game though by Quebec, who was being represented by Lakeshore Soccer Club, and Alberta being represented by Calgary Southwest United. Premiers 98. We'll get at this now. We're going to use the field to our to our left, right, I should say. moving up to this end the Alberta boys team now moving up closer to the uh, the end of the field where the action is going to take place so we've got uh, Quebec is going to take the first shot Number three, L'Esperance. And she, and she is successful. Shimpkin now here for Alberta will take their first penalty kick. See how her head is because she missed in the uh, penalty kick that was in the game. She hit the post. So they're going right back to her as the first one. She was successful on this one. So 1-1 one, one after the first round of kicks. Pano now for Quebec with the second for their second shot. That rang, she rang that off the crossbar and it stayed out. Here comes Alberta's second shot. Number seven, Wolf. And I apologize earlier if I was pronouncing it wrong. Very tense here, no doubt about it, as to what penalty kicks are like. successful on her attempt. So now the advantage is gone to Alberta. After two kicks each, it's two to one for Alberta. Coming in to take Quebec's third shot. This is number 12, Nelson. Brown and the Brown, the goaltender for Alberta. Well done there by the keeper, or sorry for the by the kicker on Nelson. 
Now we got Thompson coming in for, for Alberta for their for their short third shot. Sarasan in the net there for Quebec. Wouldn't think there was anyone here so quiet. Off, off the post and in. But all it has to do is go in. Doesn't matter how it goes in. Looks like that's number trying to see the number of the player. Lock in, Meg. Lock in, girl. Here we go. That was well well struck. Dean Tobin on Quebec. Here's Prince McPherson, number three for Alberta. She misses the net. Tie it up again. One shot left each. By my calculations. Quebec started off. Buried by number 14, Fiola. Here's number 8 on Alberta, Martin. Very tense here, not a sound by anybody. She buries that. Short. No, sorry. Quebec. Then I say. And it's saved. Here comes number five. For Alberta, if she scores, they will win. Number five, Little.
Oh. Alberta wins it. The goaltender uh, guessed the right way then, but just went through her fingers. So Alberta defeats Team Quebec. One to nothing. And penalty kicks. Everyone's very happy on Alberta side, no doubt, and very disappointed on Quebec. You've been watching live streaming of this match brought to you by Bella Line Community One. All part of the Sport Check Under 16 National Club Championships. Hope you enjoyed the match and uh, the other matches from this afternoon. We did three in total from here in Topsail Soccer Complex here in Conception Bay South Newfoundland, Labrador. Uh, my name is Ian Chater. It was my pleasure to, to call all three games. And I'd like to thank my cameraman here, Daryl Redman. Job well done. And we'll be back here again tomorrow. So I'll just as well to give you a little update on what goes on tomorrow. There's three games here in top, at, at Topsail Soccer Complex. So let me see what I got here on my notes. Tomorrow there's an 11 o'clock game, a 1 o'clock game, and a 3 o'clock game. Uh, the first two, the th 11 and 1 o'clock games, are girls' matches. I don't know who's playing on those yet. And the three o'clock game will be a boy is um, is a boys game between Alberta and Saskatchewan, as they will still be in the round robin part of their uh, competition. But the girls are in the crossovers and the like. So uh, tomorrow should be another exciting day of soccer action here at Topsail Soccer Complex. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed it. And it was our pleasure to bring it to you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night from Topsail. Conception Bay South, Newfoundland and Labrador.